When it comes to putting together a capsule wardrobe for travel, you are probably in one of three teams. Team underpack, team overpack, or team perfection. That's why today I want to show you how I put together a capsule wardrobe, how I pack it, and how I make sure that I have a stress-free vacation when it comes to what I will be wearing. It might come as no surprise to you that I've moved around a lot. Starting in my childhood, I had to travel a lot for gymnastic competitions. Later on, I was privileged enough to travel for my studies. And now, as a sustainable fashion educator, I travel to industry events and for meetups here in Europe. When you add on top of this one vacation per year, you quickly understand why packing for travel has been a problem that I've dealt with more than most people. Recently, I've created an AI travel capsule calculator that you can also use to quickly figure out how many clothes you need on your next trip. It will be available for free on my blog until the 31st of May. After that, only Wonder Wardrobe students can access it through the classroom. Before I show you how I pack my capsule wardrobe for travel, I want you to take the poll that will appear on screen and let me know which team you are in. Team underpack, team overpack or team perfection. I've prepared for you a very simple travel capsule checklist. You can find all of the steps listed here on my blog as well. This step basically means that you need to think of all possible activities you will take part in. No matter how long or short your trip will be, you shouldn't skip this step. Once you have these activities in front of you, you can understand what outfits you need. You will quickly see that some clothes, shoes and accessories can be used for multiple activities. Here is an example of four categories that I enjoy doing on a summer vacation and how many outfits I need. Going to the beach might be obvious, but you will need to consider sunglasses, a towel, a beach dress or an outfit that offers some sun protection, but it's not too hot to wear. Let's presume that we will be goody-goody and exercise a bit during our trip. For this purpose, you will need to think about a pair of yoga pants or shorts, a sports bra and a couple of t-shirts. Of course, you will have to adapt this list to your own sport of choice. The third activity I enjoy doing in summer is walking around the city. I will go see art galleries, museums and most likely have a nice lunch in a local restaurant. Both the dress and the outfit are very comfortable and made out of natural materials. The last activity on my list is called nightlife. Now that most restrictions have been lifted, I want to go for a nice dinner with my husband, maybe enjoy a cocktail at a nice bar, attend events or even go to a party. Depending on how fancy you want to be, there are multiple things to consider here as well. Will you be wearing only dresses or will you be wearing a top and bottom type of outfit? You decide. These are only four categories that I've covered, but you can already see that some of the items can re be repeated and be used for different purposes. And that's why I want to talk a bit about versatile items you should consider. I've completed outfits for the beach with some slides, with a beach bag and a sun hat. They are simply necessary for the beach or the pool. I should mention that you don't need a separate bag for this purpose. An old tote bag will do just fine and take less space in your luggage. 
For my sports outfits, I added a pair of sneakers that can work for both. A useful addition here is a compact backpack for going on hikes or picnics. And I added a light sweatshirt in case you start hiking early in the morning and it still might be chilly. Comfort is key for city tour outfits. That's why I've used the same sneakers I have here for my other activities so I can save some space. Of course, you can use a pair of slides, sandals or something with a bit of a heel if you can walk in them longer. Other things to consider for this type of activity are a crossbody bag or the old trusty tote bag that you can use for putting your shopping in. No need to get more plastic bags from every store you go into. My nightlife outfits start off with the same purse as I would be using for my days around the city. A small crossbody bag will fit both purposes nicely. The one thing I've added here is a pair of shoes with a small heel. If you don't like heels, I would suggest going for flat sandals. I've also added a belt as it makes outfits feel more fancier and it doesn't take a lot of space. A light cardigan will ensure that on summer nights, if it gets a bit chilly, I can have some warmth. As you can see, the cardigan fits all other outfits. Here's how big my travel capsule is. Not counting all the accessories I would need for dresses, seven tops, five bottoms, four bags, and three pairs of shoes. Not that much if you think about it. And I have outfits for every single activity. You should try to get the same result for your travel capsule. If you want to create a travel capsule or a seasonal capsule wardrobe that suits your lifestyle and personalized activities, I would suggest taking the Wonder Wardrobe online course. We have recently introduced split payments and it makes the course much more accessible now. The Wonder Wardrobe course will give you exciting outfits that you will love to wear on vacation or when you are back home. When you wear the right colors, fits and style, you can't help but feel more confident and happy with your closet. Now that we've seen the capsule example, it's time to take a look at how to make all your beautiful clothes and accessories fit in your luggage. Well, making them fit is the minimum you can do. I actually suggest improving your packing game so that you have all your outfits ready to wear as soon as you are at your destination. When you pack your bag or suitcase, I want you to think about your storage options in layers. The bottom of your suitcase is perfect for garments that don't crease. The things you can pack here are shoes, bags, jeans or jackets. The second layer is the middle layer. This space is dedicated to the items that crease easily, such as dresses, blouses, t-shirts and more. In order to prevent creases, you can either lay items flat or carefully roll them. Another thing that helps blouses or shirts keep a better shape is to button them up before you fold them. For trousers with darts or for pants that are made out of a thin material, it is better to fold once if possible. When you have everything laid flat in your suitcase, it's time to pack the last layer. This place is reserved for your accessories, beauty products, chargers and so on. Because I've been traveling all my life, I noticed that suitcase organization can save you a lot of trouble and stress. And who wants to start their vacation stressed, right? That's why I've used my mom's experience as a seamstress and designer and created the bento bags. 
I use the small one to take snacks to the beach, for example. My suitcase is basically a mix of bento bags. And once I reach my destination, I simply take out the three, four bento bags, place them in the closet, and that's it. I am unpacked. You can find them all on my website or through the links in the video description. If you are lost and don't know where to start with your travel capsule wardrobe, I would suggest using this AI calculator that Wonder Wardrobe students already enjoy. It will take you through different categories, just like the ones we've discussed here. You will be able also to input the number of times you want to repeat each outfit and even add your own categories. And once you are done, the calculator will simply show you how many vacation outfits you need. Before you go, please let me know in the comments below what is something you always take with you on vacation. Let's discuss and learn from each other. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to share it with a friend and press like. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.